What's up, everybody? So this week's episode, I'm going to go over where we are with Sky Titan and the artists uh, with Strings of Atlas and Chords of Eve right now. I'm also going to show you two free ways that you can support uh, any sort of creator, musician that you want to support right now, especially in this time with the whole coronavirus causing all of these shutdowns and everything. And then last but not least, we're actually, we have a few friends here, a couple special guests and creators in the community that are doing reaction videos to the latest Chords of Eve track and music video. And yeah, we're just going to have a little fun with it. So all that coming up in this episode. So make sure you stick around and make sure you subscribe too. If you're not already subscribing, just, you know, click some things and do that. All right, here we go. So this is week three of art in the time of the coronavirus. Three weeks here since we really started to feel the effects and learn about the, the virus here in the States, or here in Austin. Two weeks since they started giving us a suggestion to stay at home and start this whole social distance thing. About a week since the lockdown, all of these businesses shutting down and getting boarded up and people losing their jobs. And to, I mean, to all my, my fellow small business folks out there that are working, like, I hope you're surviving, hanging in there. And I wish you the best with everything, because it's it's crazy times. It's crazy times that we're in. It really is. I've been I've been kind of doing you know doing what I can here to support all the fellow creators and musicians, everyone who's now getting into live streaming, doing like Zoom or Facebook Live or YouTube and everything. I think that's pretty cool, and I've been trying to support as much as I can. Watch all their the streams and everything. Share the streams. Tell people about it. So we over here at Sky Titan, we're still still trying to do our thing and release our, release our music. We just had the newest Chords Veep single come out this past Friday for The Future's Not What It Used To Be. And it's doing decent. I mean, Bright Side's still the champ. That one's holding it down in terms of streams and everything. What's really amazing about it is before we got all this lockdown and everything, we actually were able to get a music video done working with uh, Jonathan Goodman out. It's Goodman. I think I just said it wrong. Maybe I said it wrong this time too, but I'm pretty sure it's Jonathan Gutschman. And he set up this, the whole video for us, uh, got Mark to work with us, and created this kind of post-apocalyptic kind of dystopian video for this track. And it came out so well. It's so cool to see it filmed on location in, in the Canary Islands. And um, it actually was released exclusively on Thursday before the track came out through Scope Magazine. Uh, we really appreciate you for doing that. And Mike over at MTS, who has been still just, just killing it in PR and really working hard for all the indie musicians that he represents right now. And I mean, another small business owner, you know, and, and it's it's tough, but we all got to kind of look out for each other. I also want to say, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been checking in on me, like personally, and checking in on Sky Titan and seeing how we're doing. You know, it's it's tough for music right now, being the closure of like the cancellation of South by Southwest and Coachella and all the bars and festivals, everything closing out. And so for the most part, Sky Titan wasn't really feeling it too much until everything started closing out. We lost a couple of gigs we were working with South by, and unfortunately we lost our Good Day Austin TV spot and our CD release parties for both Strings of Atlas and for Chords of Eve. So that was a little bit tougher. It's kind of pushed back our, I don't know, our need to actually get physical items. Everything we're doing kind of digital now. You know, I was trying to think of a way that people, fellow artists can kind of help each other out and support each other. And people have been asking, you know, what can we do to help? Um, and there's a, there's a ton of like music cares funds and just fundraising going on in so many different communities right now to help out everyone who's lost their jobs, not just artists and creators and musicians, but for everyone, service industry, people who are just losing their jobs and need a way to pay rent. So, you know, I, I realize that a lot of people want to help, but I also realize that a lot of people are also in this position of not being able to help because they, you know, they've lost their wages and everything too. So I found two ways that you can support creators that you like and musicians and everything, your family and friends right now, completely free. The first is if you know a musician who is on Spotify. Spotify has a free app you can use. There's a paid version too, but there's a free one that you can get on your desktop, laptop, or on your phone. So if you were to get that, log in and find whatever musician, whoever it is you wanted to support, 
and you stream their music, they get paid, albeit a very small royalty, they do make something off of it. And that's 100% free to you, and you can just help them out that way. The second way is if you have any creators, like filmmakers or actors, uh, anyone in theater, anyone that has a YouTube channel, and they have, see this is the catch right here, they have to have more than a thousand subscribers because YouTube's requirements to be a monetized channel are a thousand subscribers and 4,000 uh, watch hours. So if they don't have that, if you were to go to Sky Titan right now on YouTube and stream our entire vlog, uh, that'd be awesome, that'd be awesome. But it wouldn't help financially because we don't qualify right now. And I think small creators, unfortunately on YouTube, if you don't qualify, it doesn't help out. But if you do have that, that meet those requirements, you go, you stream any of their videos and let that ad run. Whatever that ad is in the beginning, just let it play. And they're going to get some kind of royalties on it. Something to kind of help supplement all of the lost, the lost gigs and lost revenue, all the lost shows and festivals and things, everything that went away. This will help kind of supplement that. And of course, if you share it with people, and I, I don't mean necessarily like Facebook, click the share button and you let it, you know, it goes on your page and Facebook's like, well, nobody paid for this ad. We're not going to show it there. We're going to show it to three people and that's it. But I mean, actually taking it, copying and pasting the link somewhere and giving it to a friend of yours and saying, hey, I think you should listen to this or I think you should watch this and here's why. It's gonna make a difference. And whereas every share is important to us, like every share is appreciated without a doubt, those ones where you're actually, that word of mouth, that person to person, like, hey, check this out, man, that makes a huge difference. And no algorithm can stop you then. You're with the people. So here's what I would ask right now from anyone who wants to support Sky Titan and its artists is if you have the if you have the free version of Spotify, open it up on your laptop or your desktop because that's the one that doesn't make you shuffle music. So you open it up and you can bring up either Chords of Eve's Bright Side or The Future's Not What It Used To Be or bring up Strings of Atlas and we just put out a new track for How Far We've Come and just stream that track, stream it front to back. And if 10,000 people did that right now, like during this, like stopped it, went and stream those songs, it would be enough that it's the equivalent of making $5 an hour at a full-time job. All right, correction. If 10,000 people did that today and like the next five days in a row, it'd be the equivalent of that. But Which I know is not great, but it's way better than making zero dollars, let me tell you. I don't want to make this a normal practice, but I think given the times, it's important to go ahead and uh, you can say emphasis is on streaming the songs, not necessarily listening to it. So you can be like, Atlas, yo, I love, I love your face. Uh, I think you're a cool guy, you know, but your music is just not for me. It's not really my thing. You can still, I mean, you can bring it up. You can, you got the, the paid version on your phone. You bring up Spotify, pick those songs, hit play. Put the phone down, go make a sandwich. Three minutes later, you come back and you have actively supported musicians you care about. All the serious stuff aside, let's have a little bit of fun. And this week, we are going to... We actually got a few friends that are working on the live streaming with us. We got a few Zoom meetings set up. And people gave us reactions to hearing to hearing Chords of Eve for the... For the first time in some cases, for the second, third time in other. But you know, it's, uh, it's, it's all fun getting this kind of reaction video and getting people's thoughts on what they like about a track, what they don't like about it, how they feel it fits in the times. And yeah, it's uh, less socially distant. We're keeping physical distance, but socially, we're here every day. We're doing good. We're all hanging out. We're feeling connected to people. And that, that's the important part. So let's go ahead and get in this video and uh, let's get some reactions on things. Okay, so this is me reacting to Chords of Eve. The future is not what it used to be. You re are you ready? Ready. Hello, my name is Sarah Marie Curry. I'm a local uh, artist and actor and improv teacher and, and human being. How's it going, everybody? My name's Grayson. I've been friends with Atlas for a while. And uh, uh, today I'm going to be reacting to his Chords of Eve the future's not what it used to be official music video. Full disclosure, I have heard it once, um, but if I usually I listen, have to listen to songs in pieces anyway, so this will probably be more word centered 
Normally I'm listening to chords and sounds before that. Latest release on Spotify says how far we've come. Is that it? Uh, oh, that one's Strings of Atlas. Uh, so you want the Chords of Eve one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Although that's a good jam too. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen this yet. Uh, I'm not spoiled by anything. So let's see how it goes. How do people make these videos? I've never heard it before, so I'm super excited. Uh, music time. Three, two, one. Here we go. I like that it rocks right away. No, it is not. I also like when a rock song really blends vocals and rock well. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Especially if the lyrics aren't like Fiona Apple or Joanna Newsom level. I, I want to hear the rock of the song because that's an equal component, you know? Not to say that the lyrics aren't important, but balance is important. That's what I'm saying. Almost lower harmony is like perfect. So I wonder if this is another mall because uh, we've been in a Benton mall before. So if we found another one, I need to. Man, this is the thing I miss about songs in the 90s. Guitar solos, pretty good. Why are the guitar riff? That's good. Yeah, bridge. Yeah, give me that shaker breakdown. Give it to me. I don't know, I'm getting like a big Borderlands vibe right now. Like style, how she's dressed and moving and everything. The song, I feel like this is like, could play like a Borderlands intro. My also other favorite thing is um, no noise distortion that bounces between the headphones because uh, I, I headphone all my music. It was very enjoyable to me. Did you build your own riser with a delay bounce? You brilliant boy. What happens when time's out? That is what are you planning? You know what this is? This is an amazing running song. I seriously really love the sound design on those delay risers. They're really, really good. That was legit. <laughs> I could listen to Casey sing all day. Um, yeah, no, that's great. It is quite, quite appropriate. It's not like, it's more, revolution related as far as the future is more than dystopian but still applies to our current life situation yeah yay <laughs> so uh, you learn, you learn. <laughs> i do i do like i want to go running to it because it is consistent in its rhythm right but it has enough um change within it to not let me get bored because when I run it's like a terrible torment right and it also has <laughs> repeatable lyrics to where if I start saying them I feel motivated and inspired you know what I mean like this is a nice, good yeah. <laughs> that's a running jam that's what I like about it um, like I was saying man I could totally see that being like Borderlands music it melodic it was easy to listen to um I feel like it would be something a lot of different people who are di into different kinds of music would dig you know, wouldn't be hard to transition from people who like, you know, classic rock over to those who like, you know, maybe like daft punk music and just kind of melt that bridge. 
context is everything, right? For the right art to hit, the context has to be in the right place. And that's what's happening in our society and what we're reflecting as artists. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really interesting how often when an artist is just listening or responding to what uh, inspirations are coming to them, how prescient it becomes through the development of the art. I feel like it's also fairly accurate. And, you know, it's a good reminder of the fact that we tend to think of ourselves as like infinite. There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. And it's like, that's not true. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. And we're all running out of time. It's just different paces in which we run out of it. Sam Marie, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. You know, as the song says, don't ever let them tell you that you can't fly. <laughs>